People sing, eat, build houses, paint, and pray, leaving traces of their culture. Maintaining these and reconstructing them when they've been destroyed by war or natural catastrophes has been the goal of the German Foreign Ministry's cultural preservation program for more than three decades. We wouldn't be writing and doing maths if it hadn't been for somebody in what is today Iraq, Mesopotamia, developing letters and numbers. We would also be living quite differently if people in this region hadn't developed key techniques like arable farming and cattle rearing, and understanding these things is of major significance. The German Archaeological Institute, or DAI for short, has been working with the German Foreign Ministry since 1874. It's special because of the strong international focus in its research, and cultural dialogue is a key part of its work. One of the DAI's projects is the reconstruction of Syrian cultural heritage, evidence that cultural preservation is not just a practical or scientific discipline, it's also a political challenge. How do we take on a monument, a building? How do you judge whether it's in danger of collapse and so on? And it continues with specific training of refugees in neighboring countries, giving them jobs so that they have some work, training them in certain skills which can be used in reconstruction. A digital register of cultural artifacts has been created for the Syrian Heritage Archive project. That's an important start for the preservation of the incredibly rich cultural heritage of this country. Around the world, the program has supported projects in 144 countries since 1981, worth a total of 70 million euros. The money doesn't just go to maintaining material objects. Take the Jamar El Fna Square in Marrakesh. For the first time in 2001, UNESCO created an immaterial world cultural heritage site because of the protagonists, these performers, who pass on their knowledge on this square. For hundreds of years, knowledge has been traded on this square by storytellers, singers, artists and magicians, surrounded by people, known as Al-Halqa in Arabic. This immaterial heritage can now be experienced by everyone on the Internet, in a virtual museum. Cultural heritage allows us to understand ourselves and each other better. And what's just as important is that it shows how we stand on ground that has been prepared by other cultures, and that point is absolutely key. It's about strengthening our identity as people. It's also about not forcing our stance on other people, but working together with relevant organizations, international organizations like UNESCO, with experts, with the population, and the goal is to include training components, to create employment locally, and of course to improve the income situation. When you look at it like this, you realize that cultural heritage is very multifaceted. Das Kulturerhalt eine reiche Vielfalt hat.